Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton. I apologize for the delay starting 10 minutes later than usual, my first big uh, <laughs> failure to start streaming on time since I started streaming again. I don't think I've missed any actual streams, but I think this is the latest I've been, maybe? Anyway, that's besides the point. Hello everybody, it is I, and we are playing more Teardown, with the aim of tearing down things in the game Teardown. As always, let me know if I need to tweak the audio, make sure my voice is uh, an adequate level of, you know, loud. Um, it's probably fine, judging by the uh, shapes I'm seeing appear on my screen as we speak. Anyway, so we're going to dive in and play the game, but first I want to see what happens if I uh, play with fire. I've got this delightful desire to light up the front of this guy's house and thereby discover exactly how far the shockwave of this new tool reaches because nitroglycerin, nitroglycerin explodes if it's hit by, if it's destroyed, like by a bullet or whatever, but also fire or also enough damage will trigger it. So if I hit the ones on the right, will it travel through that middle one and hit the ones on the left? It won't. Interesting. Because the blast wave was enough to knock this over, over here. But not quite enough to reach this middle thing. So that means that the actual like damage radius being enough to trigger them is, is probably only... Well, let's see, that's... Yeah. So like, if I pop this one, that was enough to trigger those one, yeah. So it's like two or three widths of a, of a nitroglycerin. Dear, oh dear, what a mess. Also, <laughs> I notice that uh, the grass is growing underneath. So this guy's just built his veranda directly onto the growing grass, which is a curious decision, uh, building-wise. It's also something else I noticed, which is that he's built himself a little bar into this abandoned railway carriage, which is kind of adorable. It's the sort of thing a uh, sort of thing like a a, a middle-aged dad, um, retiring from his construction job, building a bar in his basement. Something I don't know if people really do, but I've seen it happen enough on American sitcoms to assume that at least some American dads do that. Anyway, I'm going to ignore that growing fire and get distracted by actually playing the video game. Such a fabulous day. I had brunch with the Evertides manager to discuss recent issues, and it became immediately clear who the culprit behind all these break-ins is. Plan is in motion to stop his interference once and for all. There's a few favours I have to ask of you, though. First, I need a sturdy vehicle. The Lockell Home Guard ordered a new transport truck that would be perfect for the jog. It's currently stuck in the Frustrum Canal due to a shipping mishap. Can you go wiggle it free for me? There's also another Gordon Wu mission, but we'll get to that afterwards. I've been looking forward to a proper mission over here in Frustrum. Uh, we've only gone through it at high speed. The first time... Uh, because we had to deal with the, uh, what do you call it? It was a chase. We were chased through by a helicopter. And then the second time we had a, uh, a whirlwind destroying pretty much everything. Good music on this one. It's got that sort of deus exe vibe again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out the targets first. Then I'm going to explore the town and see if I can find some loot. I definitely did find some loot on this mission previously. Uh, exploring the... Uh, you know, I mean, if I smash the ice, I could just move these by water and then pick them up with a... Crane, if I can find one. Do I see any cranes? 
There's one. Yeah, so if I can pick them out of the canal with that crane, I might just be able to move them directly on the water supply much more easily. Although I might need to get the, the boat to the other side first, which is going to be harder. So, that's, I guess you could call that a plan. I'll, I'll get to actually doing that after I've had a rummage in some of these houses. I, I'm sure I didn't find everything while I was fleeing the uh, whirlwind the last time. But on the other hand, I did find a fair few things. I might be a bit quieter than normal today due to my horrible, fucked up face situation. Which is what I like to call... Having a weird condition where my, like, whole entire mouth is sore for reasons that are hard to figure out. Honestly, just enjoying the soundtrack here. Some good noodly guitar applied to a pretty solid Deus Exy kind of vibe. coming through adequately. Maybe I should uh, bump that up a little. Check the attic, which is the place I would hide things if I was hiding things. It's the most consistently hidden in location in the game, I think. Unlike bathrooms, I always think there's going to be something hidden in a bathroom, and yet there never is. I'm sure there's not even any alarms on this mission, which is rather nice. Blitz yearly bonus. <laughs> Their yearly bonus is $63. I feel like maybe I should not be stealing the bonus if they're only employing if they're only paying their employees a $63 bonus for a year. Seems kind of rough. Oh, there was a whole upstairs to this building that I didn't notice. This is just a different building than I thought it was. I feel like the shotgun's really taken the artistry out of treasure hunting. Alright, we've looked in the little blue house, we've looked in this one. This one is locked. Oh, 
Aha! High quality oil paint, $15. I feel like we're absolutely scraping the barrel. <laughs> Hello, Brobuck. Welcome back. I'm being a little bit quieter today due to my painful, messed up facial situation. Just need to check something. There we go. Discord should now be muted so you won't get the extremely frustrating Discord bloop noises that nobody likes to hear while uh, watching people stream or do Let's Plays or whatever. A fact I learned the hard way uh, quite a while ago. I think, there's, I think there's several episodes of my old Let's Plays on my YouTube channel. I've literally just like People in the comments being like, every single time it went bloop, I checked my Discord. Why would you leave that in there? Do you hate me? I really thought there'd be something up, up here in the clock tower. Oh well. Everyone knows a good shotgun shortcut. bopping to a good soundtrack. This is how they would get rid of fallen trees in real life too, if they weren't cowards. Oh hi Oral, I haven't seen you in ages! We are currently playing Tear Down. Oh, I got hurt by the cold water. That happens to me in real life too sometimes. When you live in northeast Scotland, it's an occupational hazard. But, as always, first time I get the chance to safely explore a new a new map, it's 100% treasure hunting for like the first 40 minutes. <laughs> Until I eventually satisfy myself that there is not, uh, no more secret money hidden anywhere. Anywhere at all whatsoever. I used to be such a careful thief. I used to care about getting in and out without making too much fuss, without leaving so many signs of my trace. Those days have passed and been forgotten. Aha! A reciprocating saw. At certain points this just turns into malicious vandalism. I didn't need to smash that electric heater. I assume it was electric because it made electric noises when I smashed it. What's this? No valuables? See, they're still selling the uh, extremely suspicious soda, which we now know has extremely suspicious chemicals in it, just like real soda in real life. I love that if you shoot in the direction of the lock, the force of the, the impact opens the door too. It feels very satisfying. 
It's very action movie to shoot out a lock that efficiently. <laughs> no, this does not look sanitary. There must be a staircase up to the second story. Aha. People don't hide stuff under their beds as often as they used to. Back in my day, everyone hid their money in a sock under the mattress. Or any passing vandal could find it. It's a shame to be so destructive for such a picturesque little uh, canal district. It wouldn't be necessary if they would just line up their valuables for me to take. I mean, it's been a while since it was just opportunistic theft. I want all my unlocks. I need all my precious bundles of oil paints and things. This is a child's bedroom from the 1940s. Such is what it's like in, in Norway. <laughs> oh, cool. I've got like a whole loft situation up here. That's nice. Picked up Don't Think About It. Here's the Gender Revolvers LP. Wow, what an astonishing title. For having such a good album, I will refrain from smashing this place. <laughs> there will be no shotgun hole in the upper story of this building. I can think of multiple of my viewers will be disappointed to have missed such an intriguing object. I'm just gonna burn these. I'm pretty sure there isn't a fire <laughs> alarm on this map. So if I if I need things out of the way, I can just set fires. I can set fires and leave and walk away. It's completely safe to do this. It's true in real life as well. You can set a fire and then walk away. Or leave it and and nothing bad will ever happen to any of the people who might otherwise have been nearby to that fire. People have also stopped hiding things in crawl spaces between walls, I have noticed. Oh wait, was there a second story? Ah. What an unnecessary damage I have done to this gentle home. Oh hello. Razor Shaver S worth $65. As always, the valuables this guy chooses to pick are extremely arbitrary. Oh hey, did I knock a hole in here already? Now that's efficiency. And that's parkour. 
All right, my alley fire. How's it going? It looks like the heat's actually melted the snow. Unless there wasn't any snow in the alley because it's covered. If that's the case, that's really cool. That's a... Uh... I'm going to leave this bit of the fire here. <laughs> oh, Alright, it looks like... It looks like I may have been wrong when I said it's always safe to start a fire. Hunt for happiness, 8. Moneymaker, 9,000. Hmm, there was a wallet hidden behind one of these before, which is why I've done that. That wasn't just random vandalism. Actually, very little of my ra vandalism is random vandalism. It tends to be highly targeted. Why are there all these lights on in the attic? Do people know they need to be saving electricity? I was really hoping there'd be something up here. I feel like if you find an attic full of crap, the instinct is that there's going to be some treasure. But um, sadly, that's not the case. Because that's definitely the instinct I have in real life. I get into an attic full of random stuff, and I'm just like, hell yeah, random stuff. Some of this has got to be great, right? Secret? No, I made a hole in that one, right? Wall space? No, no interior wall space. Heartbreaking. Community Award for Most Upstanding Citizen, Fred Frustrum Gas Attendant. You keep the town rolling. <laughs> Community Alert. The hat from Frederick Frustrum Mo Monument is missing again. An award of 300 is announced for its return. Pensioner's Ball at the Grand Hotel Dining Room. For Lease. Attractive opportunity across the square. I wonder if, I wonder if that means that the hat can be found somewhere in the level. treasure hidden somewhere. I don't think I even saw the grocery store the last time I was in town. Oh, wait, this is a sunning ta a, ta a sunning talon. Uh, more evidence of my brain damage. Um, a tanning salon. There we go. Is there no upper story to this building? There must be. Oh, that's this staircase, which goes into this flat. So this is the upper floor of the tanning salon. If I go up here, that gets me to the attic. Fair enough. To not hurting yourself when you jump from a high place is the manner of your landing. Ooh, explodies. Those are useful sometimes. Such as right now. No lockpicks in this world, however, there are highly explosive canisters. Which are like lockpicks. In a, in a manner of speaking. From a certain point of view, they are not unlike lockpicks. I 
I'm pretty sure this is supposed to just be like a nightlife spot, but something about it gives me the vibes of a gay bar. Is there only one stall in the entire place? And no loft either. Where do they keep the like supplies for the bar? There's no there's no stock room, there's no tap room. Is there a and there's nothing underground either. What's this? I've discovered a, a way in which this space is not a hundred percent verisimilitudinous. Ah, oh, lost wallet. Also, no glory hole, I notice, but I can fix that. There we go. Now all is as it should be. Except for that giant fire I've caused. Let's, pre let's pretend that didn't happen. I'm just going to ignore it. If you ignore a fire, it'll go away. It's like, it's like most problems in life that way. If you ignore it, it's not a problem. Oh, this is that monument whose hat's been missing. Baron Frederick Frustrum, father of Frustrum, bringer of light. Oddly biblical title for, like, a just a guy. No gods, no kings. Right. This is the last building on this side of the river for me to relentlessly loot. I'm going to loot as relentlessly as a Dungeons and Dragons bard. You see, this is a clever pun on the medieval instrument, the loot. Why is there a big rectangle in this room? Ah. Nothing in the luggage, that's no good. Anything under the stairs, also nothing. I think, I guess this must be like the town hall or something. Or the library, maybe? Well, there's not enough books. Libraries do tend to have those. Oh, it's a hotel. The Grand Hotel. Things in this game really do fall satisfyingly. Alright, I'm not sensing any hidden spaces in this particular zone. Oh, aha! Secret spices, $18. Well worth the cost of the shotgun shells I've been blasting everywhere. Oh, they've got little mints on the pillows and they're actually separate objects. That's cute. The level of detail... Oh, whoopsie daisy. As always, this uh, character does not know his own strength in any way whatsoever. I wonder if there's anything in the in this safe. Oh, oops. I wonder if there's anything in that safe. Everyone knows that if a plan isn't working, you keep doing it over and over and over. That's the sign of a real or of a real of a real plan master. I'm gonna take this out into the woods and bomb it. Where it's not gonna damage the place any more than I already have done. There we go. Jesus. Okay. We've literally had missions where we had to blow open safes with explosives. These are... These are something else. These are the least breakable safes I've discovered so far in the game so far. Alright, I'm not getting into that. It's probably just a... <laughs> 
it's the uh, it's the old why don't they just make the entire plane out of the flight recorder material problem. They have started making the safes out of it, so that makes sense. There's another one. I'm not going to make the same uh, mistake twice. Not going to bother trying to open that one. Oh, but I can open the bedside cabinets. Great, that means I have to open all the goddamn bedside cabinets now. Because what if one has treasure in? Got that obsessive squirrel instinct. Must find nuts. Must be safe for the winter. Must gather it all up. Keep it all. Hide it all. Would they really design an entire f floor of a fancy hotel and not give me anything to find? I guess it's the off-season, so they don't have any guests. So nobody's hiding sh- Aha! Fabric softener worth $15. Great, I won't have to go to the fucking shop and buy fabric softener. Do you know fabric softener is actually really bad for your clothes? Um, it causes them to wear out more swiftly. Lost wallet, $63, that's a bit more like it. I'm just make sure that's the outside. Yeah, that's the outside. Are these giant rooms then, or...? Huh. Seems like, it seems like the space is kind of truncated up here, but... I guess it's not, um... I guess I exploded that poor wall for nothing. Does it say XL because they're extra large? Oh, <laughs> no, okay. Six. I guess that's nine? Seven. Weird. Why is that room numbered differently? Oh, this is an office. Oh, okay. I guess this is the XL suite and all of the other suites are named uh, numerically. Is there nothing valuable in the rich guy suite? Heartbreaking. This is the same bathtub as he has in his house. <laughs> this is the same as my bathtub from home. Come to a fancy hotel to do vandalism, and you don't even have a different bathtub than me? I should clarify. In-game bathroom in his in-game house. Not my real bathroom in my real house, because as uh, an artificial intelligence occupying a logistical satellite at Lagrange Point 3, I don't actually have one of those. I thought there'd be more treasure in here. Such is life, I suppose. Oh, hello. An industrial filter. Everyone loves $30. Alright, just this little industrial estate left to loot. Then I can actually turn my mind to actually solving the problem I'm here to solve. Oh, those explode. Okay, good to know. Didn't previously know that. Now I know. It's, imp <laughs> it's important to learn things when they happen to you. Did a thing happen to you? If a thing happened to you, you may be entitled to compensation. Hello, girl like substance. Welcome to the stream. You missed something earlier that I thought you would have found extremely delightful. Um, but sadly you weren't here, and I can't remember what the wording was, so now you'll never know about the cool album I found in a cool... 
attic album listening to space. Anything in the bin? Nada. Oh, industrial ass crane. I've not seen this before. It's got support legs. Oh, I love that. Okay. Well, it looks like I found what I'm going to be using to solve today's problem, huh? How do I pilot? Oh, oh, maybe I can activate the. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a two-part vehicle. <gasps> That's cool. That's okay. New favorite. Friendship ended with normal crane. Giant crane is now my new best friend. Nothing in the fridge. Oh, hello. A Gibbon stereo caster worth $430. Fantastic. Finally. It's finally some good fucking loot. Ah, oh, interesting. You do that too. Why do I know so many people who make arancini? Or I guess just like them. It's a popular food stuff, Tessa, they say to me. Why don't you like arancini? To be honest, I'm not sure I've ever had arancini. I think I've had... I think there was like a local restaurant here in Aberdeen that sold dessert aran arancini? Arancini? Arancina? My flatmate's Italian. They were here earlier, I don't know if they're here now. They're probably yelling at the screen if, if, uh, if they can hear me mispronouncing uh, the word that severely. Enunciating perfectly and waving their hands in Italian hand gestures, as is appropriate. No loot in that bin. Everyone knows if you want to, um, if you want to obtain objects that you suspect might be in a large plastic bin, the trick is to grab it with both hands and worry it like a terrier killing a rat. Oh, is this one busted? I think this is busted. Well, I suppose it's time to start actually doing my job. For a given value of job. Wait, can I lower this bridge or is it actually busted? I think it's broken. There's normally like little... Bridge ahead. Oh, it doesn't say it's broken. There's normally a little button I can push to make the bridge work. This one does not appear to have such a thing. Which means it's time for destruction. Which is what we all are here to see, let's be honest. There we go. Most problems can be solved by an application of buckshot. Did you know this? Oh, 
It is nice just to have these occasional low stakes missions. Where you do just get to do stuff without an alarm going off. Is this boulder always here? Is it supposed to be in the way? Really satisfying. One of the more satisfying experiences I've had in this game so far has been dragging these tires behind this vehicle. I'm not sure why. There's no reason why it should be more satisfying than any of the other times I've dragged shit around, but it just feels good. Exit zone. Oh, it's up ahead. Oops. Oh, if I just get this truck out of the way, I didn't need to do the thing. Oh, it's busted. Oh, it's a busted truck! Which means I get to play silly buggers with explosives, which is also my favourite thing. Digger nicely and safely out of the way, and then let's see how much of a mess we can make. <laughs> At least that much. Oh, interesting, the chassis is still here. I didn't realise this was just like, the road, and it's all blocked. If I'd been smart, I would have cleaned this up first. Unfortunately, I'm not smart. Um, I'm a fool, and possibly also an idiot. Ah, oh, look at the wheels go. That's fine. That's fine, they can patch this. I haven't caused anybody any meaningful trouble. Are these wheels... Oh, they're not really there. <laughs> these wheels are a video glitch. Oh, god. Bug just ran across the front of my desk and startled me. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, hmm, okay, um. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I should probably put that out. On the other hand, I am kind of busy. If people didn't want their houses to burn down, they shouldn't have made them from flammable materials. I am blameless in this. I like to imagine him just like peacefully whistling to himself, pleased with a job well done, unaware of how much hor horrible chaos he's causing. Alright, that's item number one successfully extracted. That's a house that has nothing to do with me and is not my responsibility. I think I'm going to have fun with the newly discovered... Wow, I burned that place out, huh? Uh, the newly discovered 
giant crane. Big crane. Craney dubs, the extra large crane. Here he is, everybody's pal. <laughs> Hmm. Where can I get that into the best position? Uh, if I get rid of this stuff. And drive these things out of the way. I might be able to get that around this corner. <clears throat> the natural end point of most debris is canals anyway. I'm just doing nature a favor here. They're like shopping trolleys, really. This thing's going to be a problem, though. I need to get rid of that. Or maybe I should just try and drag this around the corner. That would have been smart, wouldn't it? Oh, it's going in the drink. I believe I have done fucked up, as they say. We've got the full cap size. The full cap size, folks. Oh dear. Only giant crane can help me now. Oh god, giant crane. <laughs> How deep is this fucking canal? Can I still pull this off? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Alright. I actually didn't mean to start all the way back to the beginning. Oops. Still. Uh, hmm. I, to some extent, know what to do this time. And I don't need to go around looting every goddamn house this time, either. What did we learn? Quick saving is the gentleman's conniption. A phrase that means absolutely goddamn nothing. Still, this time we can start off with a plan instead of fucking about a whole bunch. Hopefully, that'll make life a lot easier. See, I was thinking more in the line of the gentleman's conniption is like a, a sex act of some kind. Perhaps the gentleman's conniption is the result of the 1940s gay porno. into yon canal with you. I set the canal on fire, remarkable. Takes a lot of effort to do that. 
There hasn't been. A, I haven't seen a canal be on fire since the Regency Canal near uh, passing through Camden in 1999. Where's this broom broom machine? It was a bit more stronger. But at least I didn't set that house on fire this time. Technically I'm improving. Oh hey, I can blow the snow around, that's cool. Oh, this is just a whole mess. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Today I'm being oddly conscientious. I'm putting this stuff out of the way properly instead of causing a big mess in my attempts to fix a bigger mess. Because I'm the people's vandal. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm just going to bomb all this shit. <laughs> Pipe bombs are go-go, ladies and gentlemen. And those of you who are in between undecided or otherwise. That was a little bit less than I was hoping for, but that's fine. The main roadway being clear is all that's really required. That'll do for now. I may as well do the simplest one first, so that I don't cause as many problems as I might otherwise cause. You know, that's probably an easier way to get a hold of this one as well. If I just back this one up... Shunt this along a bit. I can probably bring it within range of that thing. Big old grabbing Gary up there. Yeah, if I turn this around... Ideally without running into the gas pumps, which will immediately explode. Fuel in this universe being an extremely risky proposition most of the time. I love the record of my ridiculous eight-point turn in the snow here. Oh, this looks promising. Put down my stabilization leggies. Do the old lifty lifty. Gentle little detachy tachy. Perform lifty additionnel. And thus the task is complete. Oh, this has 
a, a raising and lowering secondary section as well. That's cute. I've seen one of those before. Bring this on board the land. Then I can drop it and attach it to a more sensible vehicle for towing. He really is my new best friend. Crane wins again. Crane for best. Truck appears to be struggling in the snow though. Maybe I should have gone for heavy goods vehicle or something. Probably fine. It's probably fine. Is this thing too heavy for me to drag? It is. Interesting. I thought it wouldn't be. Okay, this thing is terrible. This is useless. Is it all just stuck on bits of this? What's going on under here? Oh, it's actually stuck up on... Its axles got caught up on this thing. All right, let's try it now. That's a bit better. That's a bit more like it. A bit more vim and vigor. I was down on cables in the early game, but they've definitely proved their use as we've moved into the more complex tasks of the mid to late game. I wonder if this whole van will unpeel as I go under here. Ha, <laughs> no. Disappointing, but there it is. Giant boulder, who left you here? When you get older, will you move to the pier? Cars go into the canal. Like all scrap metal, it's their eventual resting place. Oh dear. Not the easiest corner to take in the world, but we've managed it just about. I do love that on the snowy levels you get these little ploddy footprint tracks where you've been. It's very cute. He's got his axles caught stuck on things again. Honestly, it's almost like the fish delivery truck was never intended for this kind of usage. Let's see if I can get a bit more traction now. Come on, lad, you can do it. If you can pull an entire village's load of fish, you can pull half of an armoured car. Incidentally, that's why they call certain kinds of shotguns street sweepers because they can do double duty, removing debris in the way of a large truck. <laughs> I've installed a new city bus shelter. 
All right, that's one. Two to go. Once again, that was purposeless vandalism. That was just for funsies. I should learn restraint. All right, this one next. I could probably use the crane again. I think I'm going to use the crane again. If... No, actually, I should try and use the normal crane first, because it's nearer. That one wasn't purposeless vandalism. It served a, served a reason. This one might not have the weight, the counterweight necessary to pull that out of the river. Hi, Maverinthia. Welcome to the stream. We are doing more vandalism. Starring Nameless the Sum Guy who has the strongest upper arm strength of any human being I've ever encountered. Let's see if I can get this one. I think I should be able to do this. I think I should be able to just drag it up over the edge. Oh, I should definitely save first, actually, in case I need to get rid of this crane and go for the giant crane we used before. Can I push this? Can I move this floating object? Oh, I can, a little bit. If I can scooch it close enough, that'll make my life a lot easier. Looks like there's an odd physics interaction. When the snowblower blows the snow, it moves a bit further and faster. Looks like it might be as close as I can get it to go. Missing. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, great. I don't even need to go get a different thing. I can just carry it to the exit with this. Although, I should probably stabilize it a bit so that it doesn't snap the the thing just by just by uh, bouncing. Because I'm smart like that. It should move as one big object now that I've boarded it together. Yeah, nice. I think I need some verticals actually. I need to try and get on top of it. There we go. I am a genius. I like that. <laughs> I like that the. Uh, I thought that that uh, plank would get broken as I started to drive away, but I like that it's still there. It's given the thing a kind of like a saurian aspect. It's not unlike uh, a uh, sauropod dinosaur. 
This thing, this thing is creature. This is Diplodocus. All right, two out of three. Easy one is left now. I just need to make my way back to the very, very far end of the uh, of the map, and then uh, it's easy mode. I just need to drive my way back again. Ideally in a heavy industry vehicle, so I don't have these slippy problems I'm having with this snow-clad car. Trees are very brittle in the winter. It's normal for them to fall over like that. That's nothing to do with me. Officer. <laughs> Let me just park new friends somewhere useful. Or, not useful, I mean somewhere where it won't be in the way. Oh, interesting. That's too tough for me to, to break with my blowtorch, but not with my pistol. There we go. <laughs> Important thing is they're out of the way. situation achieved I think I feel like it should be a bit more even than that but why isn't it lower what's holding it up aha there we go Twang. And away we go. We're on the gravy train from here on in. You've got that nice scoop on the front to get rid of any debris I missed. Not that this is nearly as much debris as the uh, pre-accidental sinking attempt, at any rate. Just get that car out of the way. What is a high highway patrol digger for, if not uh, destroying the cars of people you consider to have parked illegally? And away we go. The least fraught mission we've had for a while.
Oh, snowmen. Nice, that's cute. Anything hidden in them? No. The way the cubes behave does kind of give it the... Oh, <laughs> snowballs, nice. Does kind of give it the vibe of... Uh... Styrofoam, I think. Imports new palm trees in winter. How gauche. Nearly as gauche as his little uh, bar set up here. As far as we know, this guy has zero friends. Zero friends, and presumably zero customer traffic. This is like when someone... Uh, I think I said this earlier, actually, that the... Um, it reminds me of when a Midwestern American dad, like, installs a, installs a bar in his basement <laughs> so that he can have brewskis with the lads. Well, well, I guess you guys would say the boys. The fellas, probably? Yeah, let's go with the fellas. Oh, it has weight. That's cool. Okay. The weight of it means that, that it was tipping over to one side. Or maybe not. Hmm, perhaps not. New rug as well. Everyone loves a new rug. It's been a while. I was hoping I wouldn't need to reach out to you again, but it's been complicated lately. I lost my job at the mall. The boss was a maniac anyway. I can't believe I put up with him for all these years. Bit of financial trouble here. See, I bought the abandoned Lee plot to realise an old dream, the racing Wonderland theme park. This is exactly what Lockhell needs, don't you think? Spent my last savings on the new rides and forgot about the upcoming holidays. I know they bring out the decorations at the mall this time of year, so maybe you could sneak in and bring me some. It would add that last touch to my grand opening next week. Can't really offer anything else in return. How about a free day pass? Steal at least four Christmas decorations. I'm sorry for destroying that tree. It was completely unnecessary. It was arguably treasonous. Fire alarm and alarm robots. Alarms can be triggered by robots. Oh, interesting. Carry the decorations to the van basically without getting spotted. That's cool. Okay, this is literally our first actual stealth mission in the entire... <laughs> Game. Alright, it's all in the mall. Nothing in the presents. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, that's how it'd be in real life too. The problem is I can't kill the robots. In fact, the only way to kill the robots on the previous mission that had robots in was to put them in water and there's no... Well, I suppose I could get them in the sea over there. I suppose I could tie them to a car with... Cables drag them out to the sea that way. So if I wanted to, I probably could kill this kill the robots <laughs> But I probably shouldn't because that'll definitely set off the alarm This game does not have a Deus Ex style lean so I don't know how to know whether they can see me or not They'll definitely hear if I start smashing holes in walls But it makes it hard for me to like peek out at them Oh, there's one. Did he see me? I think it saw me. It saw where I was. They were pretty proactive on the the mission where I where I first started destroying them. Oh, six meters up and outside. Outside seems promising. They can't possibly set off the alarm if they see me outside, right? That would that would be illogical. Oh, it's up higher. Okay.
don't know what I expected. How alarmed will a robot be if I just set off an explosion? I know that I, a robot, would be very alarmed if I set, if there was an explosion set off near me. I think that's a relatively natural reaction. Aha, starting to get a bit closer. Aha, nearly made it, okay. This is probably the most ass backwards way to do it, but if I can successfully steal one item from outside, Oh, ooh, it's below me. Okay. Still, if I can successfully steal an item from outside without disturbing the robot. Like that. <laughs> Alright, it's suspicious, but I don't think it's alarmed. He's going to go look for me. How the hell do I- oh, I have to physically drag this shit. Oh god. Okay. So I get a few seconds of it noticing me before the alarm goes off. Can I drag this up through the ceiling if I get rid of this? And I'm a bit more careful. Okay, they don't seem to be disturbed by noise, that's good to know. If I wait for it to go away, I can make a ladder down and get back up again, nice and quick. What happens if I- oh, what if I sneak up behind it, tie cables to something, and then shoot the floor out from underneath it? Then it'll be stuck dangling. He really cares about these decorations, huh? Maybe I need to distract it. Oh, there was glass there, whoops. Is it stunned? No, there it is. Oh, that got its attention. If I can grab that and drag it out of its line of sight. glass everywhere is terrible. Oh, it fell down. <gasps> it fell down. That's got to be useful to me, right? Yeah. Stupid robot. Haha, <laughs> that's one. Knocking them over with explosions was how I killed them on the previous mission, because I could knock it over with an explosion and then tip it off a cliff into the water. But they are very heavy and hard to move. Where's my where's my van? This way direction. <laughs> okay, target one. Target two, three. Oh, they are different things. Okay. Six meters up. Where's that one? Two meters up. That one's nearly on ground level. I think I'll try and get that one. That's... Looks like it's in here somewhere. Ha, there it is. Ooh. 
There's the guy. If I end up luring it outside, I could cable it to the wall out here, maybe, and then drag the thing. Or I could just sneak up behind it. <laughs> the perfect crime. <laughs> He'll never suspect a thing. Oh, this is good. This game needed this game needed active prevention of my of my bullshit. <laughs> Alright, next up, let's see. Six meters up, fifteen meters up, twenty-eight meters up, thirteen meters up, six meters up seems like a good project. catch sight of it from here. I can't, but I can smash these windows. And get in this way. Nope, that's not what I want to do. There we go. I think I can hear one, but I can't see it. Where's he hiding? Oh, interesting. That fell down even though there wasn't another. Let me just snake that through the hole here. This one, this one is now suspicious, which I think is fair. Ah, oh, what's that course on? Come on, get down. I like the, I like the steel tinsel these guys have bought. You cannot see me. Absolutely not. I'm invisible to you. If the alarm goes off when it's looking through a wall, that's bullshit. successful. The fact that this tinsel has Christmas lights in and they light up as I'm running away with it always makes me think I'm being spotted by one of the robots. Oh, that one's on the roof. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get the roof one next. The roof, the roof feels easy to me. God damn it. <laughs> I was powerful missing. No one in- I'm, I'm in here, occupied. <laughs> He's just like, oh, sorry. Uh. Run, 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 run. Okay, how do I get to the roof from here? I'm so glad shutting the door on it worked. Oh, I could... No opening the door for you. <laughs> I don't think- I don't know if they can open the door. They'll open fire if they get pissed off at me enough. Fantastic, there's none of them up here. That is a target, right? Yeah. Oops. I 
I am the world's greatest thief. I'm really pleased that that fell exactly how I wanted it to. <laughs> this might be my favourite mission so far. It really needed to provide active friction against you. That one's going to be difficult. I might be able to shoot it down and then drag it out through the middle. Let's go for that one next. Fifteen meters up. That's probably the top floor, right? Got to find me somewhere I can hide. Six meters up. Yeah, it's even further. There must be one story. Yeah, there's one more story up. Oh, shit. He can't see me. He can't see me. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh my god. That's genius. Oh, fuck. I'm in my safe space. I'm in my safe space. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck now. There we go. Ah, shit. Still, I've learned something absolutely fascinating about these robots. I'm going to take a slightly different tack. I'm going to go in from above. This should not be allowed. <laughs> okay. All right. I can work with this. They don't have thumbs. They can't open the door. Which means I can make myself a nice safe exit. There's nothing they can do to stop me. Oh, okay, they can open that door. Welp. Ouch. to neaten up this little thing if I'm planning on relying on it much more. There we go. 
Oh, that's probably going to stop me getting back up here next time. Oh, well. If I knock him off... I could... I could knock him down. Pretty easily. Oops. Well, none of that where I want, went where I wanted it to go. But if he's down there, he's not coming back up here, and that's all that matters. Four out of six? Well, now we're at five out of six. Something vaguely draconic about these things. They don't they don't feel like uh like you know, Christmassy holly mistletoe red ribbon decorations. They feel like uh cheap look Loch Ness monster toys, weirdly. So I should be able to just grab the last one and get out now. Looks like I can drop that down from the middle. Sadly, I still haven't seen what happens to them if I try and uh, cable them to things. I do think it'd be really funny to cable them to something and then shoot the wall out, leaving them dangling. Or the floor out, rather. There it is. It's going to drop in the centre down there. Oh, he's coming my way. They're surprisingly able to get around when they want to. Rocket launcher, when you need a hole in a hurry. I'm going to see if I can three-pointer this one in. That did not go very far. Oh, it's too heavy for me to throw. Okay, interesting. Can yeet it, though. Right. That went well. That was great fun. It's a shame that that's just a spin-off thing. I wonder if one of the, like, uh, expansion challenge -y things has... More, uh, <laughs> more stealth challenges. I'm going to experiment briefly. I think that explosives don't compound. I think a ton of explosives in one spot won't expand out how much surface they cover. Oh well. Just heard something. You know that security company? They're installing several secure vaults. Very sturdy stuff. Must have a gold mine of tools lying around. I could use some of that for the parking garage. Can you go ahead and pick them up? I'm probably not going to play this mission, but I do want to look at it real quick. Ooh, okay.
Previously, when we went to this location, we were able to only go to the secret lab. Hopefully, this time we'll be able to explore the entire facility. That's definitely going to take a while, though, and we are at two hours, and I do have sore throat and fucked up face. <laughs> um, for which reason, I think I'll be calling it a night here. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.